Good morning and welcome to the Newark Teachers Union. To all our distinguished guests, I really thank you for coming here today. We have the initiative to correct what's wrong with public education. With these six schools, what we're saying is that we are going to give an extended school day to children. We are going to have foundations and other people involved in reshaping curriculum and structuring how we educate children. We want to find out the reasons why we have failing schools and we want to address those failing schools. With this initiative, we've already, already received telephone calls from universities that want to partner with Newark to help make our schools better. That's what it's about. And I think this is an outstanding partnership and I think it's a great achievement. Where a superintendent sits in a union hall where we can sit next to each other and we can discuss how we're going to change what's going on in Newark. Once we change what's going on in the Newark public schools, we begin to change what's going on in our city and we begin to change what's going on in our country. A significant day and I appreciate it. Dr. Janey. It's the day upon which we can lift up collaboration and put it where it's really most important and most valued and that's the relationship between labor and management. That relationship will continue despite turbulence. That relationship will make a difference uh, despite differences. Um, I say it's a, it's a great day for Newark where one out of four families still live in poverty because collaboration and relationships uh, are demonstrated here this morning to trump resistance because we are making a statement about what matters most. And this agreement this morning will only accelerate that which we have known to be successful for our children, our families, and our communities. Thank you. I think many of, uh, of you are aware of the highly politicized debate <coughs> about education reform in the country. Uh, a debate that often uh, pits teachers against uh, elected officials uh, and in too many cases results in children's needs not being met as the adults squabble and conflict over their agendas. Uh, what we're witnessing today is a very mature, constructive, and responsible approach on the part of all parties in Newark yeah. to grapple with some very complex issues. What we're hoping with this MOU and the work that's going on is that we can now create the framework for ongoing collaboration, not just between the teachers union and the district, but also between parents, community organization, the mayor's office, and others, because we believe that in order to really transform the schools, the entire community of Newark needs to support those schools. And I want to really commend uh, the teachers union. I want to commend Randy Weingarten, who's come as the national leader of the AFT to this gathering, because it really shows their commitment to supporting these kinds of change efforts on behalf of children. So I think it's a good day for Newark. Uh, I think it's a good day actually for the whole country uh, because I think the example that's being set here uh, could hopefully uh, lead to changes that are so desperately needed elsewhere. As Pedro said, there's lots of screaming in this debate. But the hard work is to work together on what works and focus our attention and that support on children. I'm in Newark for two reasons. One, to shine a light on this partnership of collaboration, trust, and actual contract provisions to effectuate that collaboration and trust but also because this is exactly what the AFT is trying to seed in places all across the country. How do we make sure that public <coughs> education works for all kids? How do we save public education as it ought to be? And how do we make common cause with community on the things that work? That's why today is such a great day, not just for Newark, but for the country. These parties 
are working on behalf of kids to create a new contractual relationship that aligns with a new community and wraparound service relationship. This is the pattern that America should be following. And I cannot tell you just how proud I am of all of you. Thank you so much for showing the way.